Hello, my name is Pastor Vomo, and uh, I want to take this opportunity to appreciate you and your great ministry as you partner with us to help us to fulfill the Great Commission. Early in the month of October this year, you came to work with us in the predominantly Islamic islands of Zanzibar. And your team was involved in two main missions. The first one was the construction of a nursery school, which is critical in our strategy as a church to reach the Muslims. The second was a medical missions, which is also very, very uh, strategic in reaching out to these people. The mission was very challenging in the planning, the preparation, and doing the groundwork as a whole. This is because uh, the community and the authorities are not in favor of the work of the church. And uh, we had to work out the, not only the logistics, but uh, uh, the entire the entire groundwork um, but we thank God for your prayers that uh, uh, these challenges were overcome and uh, uh, the mission continued with no uh, serious setback I want to share with you a brief testimony of the doors which have been opened uh, since that mission. Um, number one is that uh, the church where we were constructing, uh, where the construction was taking place, uh, has actually grown. The building which they were using, just because of the presence of the team there, uh, people have been attracted to the church and now the church is full. They have actually started working on another building which was stalled for some time, but now they really need that extra space to move the church to. And so they're continuing with the work and the, act, the church has been revived, it has come back to life. Uh, people have come back to the church and uh, they are moving forward very, very well. The other aspect of the mission is the medical mission. Uh, this has really opened doors. It has broken barriers, it has opened doors. Uh, we received a call from the member of parliament who represents uh, the area which to of the medical missions took place. That is where the clinic uh, at Jangombe in Zanzibar is situated. We had two clinics there. First of all, uh, the member of parliament called to appreciate very, very much the medical clinic. And uh, he expressed his appreciation on behalf of his people in the constituency uh, appreciating so very much uh, the medical mission, its effectiveness, and the way it was carried out. And so please uh, receive that appreciation. But secondly, he called to invite us back, not only for the medical missions or to assist them in some other matters, but also invited the church back into the constituency to go and uh, he said he will give all the assistance possible for the church to work in that constituency. Now that's a miracle. That is indeed a miracle. If you were to understand the context of the work in Zanzibar, you have to understand that it is a miracle. It is nothing short of a miracle. And so what I want to tell you today is that uh, your work has not been in vain. The medical mission and the construction mission has opened doors. 
In fact, even today I received a call from Zanzibar that the same member of parliament was following up if his message has been received. And at the same time, he was arranging if we could meet. He, he now wants to meet with the church and he wants, us to, and he wants to introduce us to the vice president of whom he is her special assistant. So, men and women of God, thank you so much. It was a great privilege and a great honor to partner with you in the work of the kingdom. We know that uh, you went to great lengths, tremendous sacrifice in time and in cost. But I want you to know that your labor is not in vain. It has bore fruit. Even now, we have an open door to go to the islands and to work in that constituency openly as the church. So thank you so much. God bless you. We look forward to see you again. Asante sana.